Thursday, June the 23rd, 2016, and uh, I'm back in the Republic of Ireland. Very significant day today, referendum day back in the UK. I've already cast my vote, uh, and tomorrow could be a whole new world, hopefully. I'll say no more. Fingers crossed, it's on a knife edge. Meantimes, as I say, I'm out here in the Republic again. Last year, six, seven months back. Today I'm in a town called Greystones, which is on the coast. And uh, the aim today is to get to the top of that hill over there, which is known as Bray Head. Nice coastal walk, circular, uh, back up to the head and back here. It's about oh, anything between eight and 10 miles, not 100% sure. Should take uh, three hours, I guess. It's now one o'clock. Pretty windy, being on the coast. As you can see, a bit ominous cloud-wise. Showers are forecast in about two hours' time. So fingers crossed they've got that wrong. That's the great sugar loaf over there. Filmed that last time I was here. We've got a valley in the middle. And across to Bray Head. I noticed looking at YouTube, this particular walk's been filmed a number of times. Uh, so what I'm adding is yet another dimension, I suppose. Just an update on the hip. Still nothing done. Still giving me jip. So uh, let's see how we get on. Okay, so here we go, cliff walk to Bray. Coastal walkway, route plan been in, the, uh, in effect now for seven months through this nice new marina village that's being built. Okay, interesting. Coastal walkway which will be in use from Monday the 23rd for 18 months. Yeah, I wonder if that's going to mess my plans up a bit. Doubt it. So here's a nice yacht harbour. And uh, presumably this is where the development's going to take place. On the uh, adapted walkway, as you can see the surface is pretty good for walking. Tinder track. Here's that lovely plant again, crimson coloured plant that I see in Hitchin on the uh, gravestones. It's a weed apparently, but uh, quite an attractive one. Somebody might better tell me what that is, because I don't know. There's a load of sand martins down there. Believe it or not, God knows what they're nesting in. A big grey heron there at the back as well. Yeah. I reckon he's going to take off in a second. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Close to the railway line here. That white cross on top of Bray Head's where I'm headed. Does seem ominously like rain is coming though. Temperatures dropping, winds picking up. All the signs are there. And I have no waterproof. Part funded by Falter Island. see out on my right. Big tanker out there. Information panel here. We're close living coast. Half in English, half in Gaelic. Uh, 
lovely spread of foxglove. First footpath, finger post I've seen. 2k to Greystones, 4 to Grey. Quite a steep incline now, cliffs on my right. Not sure where the railway line's gone, but uh, very close to the cliff edge here. Slowly climbing upwards. Still good surface underneath. Nice spread of buttercups. And an interesting, uh, well that's a pinky coloured flower isn't it? In there, where's it gone? There. Across the bay back to Greystones. The pleasure cruiser out there. Just make out a helped hoth in the skyline there. Who needs the Mediterranean on a day like today? Wonderful. So far, fingers crossed. Answer to my question, that's how close the railway line is to the cliff edge. It did all fall in in the 80s and it had to, uh, a new tunnel had to be built, so I read. Yeah, even though this is quartz, I believe, the rock. The dog rose there. A good shot of the uh, railway line going into the tunnel. Hang on, where is it? And there's another tunnel entrance down there. Precariously close to the sea. The section where the sea destroyed the tunnel. Got the new tunnel on my left, the old tunnel on the right. Yeah, that shut the line down for a few years, I bet. Or months at least. And comes out underneath me here. Just done three mile. One hour twelve. Interesting, distance is no different to the last kilometre back. This railway line is known as Brunel's Folly because Brunel was involved in the tunnel in here and uh, that's due to the high maintenance costs. The path is much more eroded here, rickety on the ankles. Wonderful collection of flowers along that wall, almost as if they've been planted there. It's that same flower again, I think. Where the flower is, there it is. Great shot of the old railway line now, looking uh, south. Three miles in and the uh, hip is just starting to uh, ache. There's the exit to the old tunnel. You can just make out the old track bed there. And uh, where the rocks have been eroded. Incredible. As I say, I think that was in the 80s. There goes a train through the new tunnel. There's the section that got taken away, clearly. Full protectors here. Mission panel here about Lord Meath's Lodge.
spray ahead of us. Presumably I'm going to have to take a left shortly and get up to the head. Picnic tables here for those that wish to avail. Panoramic view board here. Dorky Island, Kalini Hill, Bray Harbour. There you go. You can panel about Butler's Way. Very well eroded. Butler's way to the cross. It's woodland ascent. Lovely. Now into open gorse again. And there's the old cross. Two thirds of the way up. Views back towards the Sugarloaf. Wicklow Mountains. Dublin Mountains with the aerials on the three rock mountain that I was on before there's Bray in the foreground Kalini Dorky Island right out to Health or Hoth keep getting that wrong top same skyline there's the cross People occupying it at the moment. Very busy up here today. As you guess on a day like today, but uh, still school hall, uh, school term, so I've seen a lot of kids around today. Onward journey, I believe, is that track in the distance, uh, which the infamous Lord Meath, whose lodge I filmed a minute ago. He created this track, I believe, for his guests to get up here. There you have it, Bray. The harbour. The railway line down below, which is about a kilometre from here. If you wish to uh, continue the journey and get the train back here. The uh, red and white chimneys at Dublin Port. Quite hazy over the way. Lucky with the weather. By all rights, it should be raining now. But uh, once again, the weathermen have been wrong, fortunately. Right, I think lunch is called. 4.69 mile in so far. 1 hour 52. So yeah, lunch is served. So there we go. Hence the uh, cattle grid here. I believe this track will be a bit quieter than the one down below because it's uh, less of a tourist route. More for the locals this one. It's getting ominous though. Sun's gone, or almost gone, and look at these clouds. Better press on. Plenty of heather now, bits of gorse. A bit different to the gorse at Cromer, which is out in full bloom in a minute, so uh, probably a different variety. I'm walking through a section of uh, gorse walls, basically. Lovely protection from the breeze. Pleasant smell as well. Looking back to uh, Bray Head there, and an interesting feature the way that quartz is rounded off like that. Much more pleasant route this one. Less people on it than that group of ramblers I just met there. 
Meanwhile, on the left, still looks ominous. Or a graphic rainfall over there. And there on my left, you can see both the footpath I came up on and the railway line. About four or five hundred foot down below. There's a better view of it. Plenty of the old cuckoo spit here. Which we established has got nothing to do with cuckoos at all. But some little insect protecting itself. Right, what a wonderful view of Greystones down there and its new developing harbour. A bit windy here, so I hope that's not interfering too much. Wonderful views. Then looking back to uh, Brayhead, with its crowds gathering now. First bird of prey today. Not sure what that is. Long tail. Probably a sparrowhawk. Can't tell from the colours. Bit of scrambling required on this section. Just about managed that with the old hip. I'm back on the right track now. There's a bird there I do not recognise. Could be a black cap. Song of. There it is. Yeah, that's a black cap. Different sound to what I'm used to. Must be an Irish accent. I can hear you, the uh, other birds singing not too far away, which tells me it's a black cap. Quite a steep descent here. Just gone up past three. Another information panel here, which is very difficult to read because it's been broken. But uh, there is indications here of um, peregrine and kestrel. And at that point, we rejoin the uh, path that I took up in reverse. So we're bang on track. So now we're halfway back from whence I've come. Sun's back out now. Rain threat seems to have lifted a bit, thankfully. View across the bay. Regeneration here. Clearly there's been a fire. Gorse has burnt. Now the uh, bracken's coming up through the scorch marks. Good to see this field of oats being grown here. The healthier crop. Much better than the old wheat. Looking back at the uh, bin again. There you go, what I thought was foxglove is actually Rose Bay Willow Herb. And we saw plenty of um, Red clover. 
didn't see a stone chat. I did see uh, cormorants and what I believe was a petrel, sooty blackbird. Looks a bit like a swift. I can't remember what you call that. I uh, thought it might be a storm petrel. Don't know, I'll have to check that one. So here we are at uh, Greystones Marina. 8.44 miles later. 3 hours 26. Half past 4. So I think I've got an hour to kill before the next bus. And uh, my hydro bar spa tonight in the bed and breakfast. Look forward to that. Sort the old limbs out. Because the old hip is aching now. Eight kicked in about five miles, particularly on the descent, that's what uh, made the problem worse. So, very pleasant walk, Greystone Circular via Brayhead, we'll call that. Wonderful. Now, fingers crossed for a brave new world tomorrow morning. Let's see. Next time I return on these walks. England could be in a whole new place.